Welcome friends. Today we shall learn how to break a medical term. Actually all the medical terms are derived from Latin or Greek. So it is important to break the term and know the term. Before going to this topic, let's tell you the parts of the medical term. The parts are suffix, root word, prefix for combining vowel, suffix. What is suffix? This part of a medical term is called suffix. That means the end part, the last part of the of a medical term is called suffix root word this is root word this part it is suffix and it is root word or word root it is the main part then prefix pre means first fix means fixation fixation this part before root word we are fixing this part it is prefix prefix and combining vowel it is not present here it will generally uh, present between suffix and word root now I come to the rules the rules of the medical term breaking is number one start breaking from suffix end that means breaking starts from this one this part this itis means inflammation and this part word root means hurt and it is around or outside better to say around so inflammation of the outside of the heart that means with the pericard second rule second rule is like this if the first letter of suffix is vowel then there is no combining vowel is used look the first letter of suffix is i it is vowel that's why there is no combining vowel third rule if the first letter of suffix is consonant then you should use combining vowel look this is the example logi is a suffix this is the word root and look the first letter of the suffix it is consonant l that's why we are using combining vowel o generally combining vowel is o or i fourth rule Sometimes two or more word root are connected with the help of commanding vowel. This is hepato, spleno, megali. This is suffix. This is commanding vowel. This is word root. And it is also a word root. Spleen. Hepat means liver. And spleen is given. And megali means enlargement. So it is enlargement of both liver and spleen. 
I'm giving you another example. It is otorhinolaryngology. Let's break the term first. Starting from the suffix end. It is suffix. This is word root. And this is another word root. And it is another word root. So three word roots are jointed by this combining vowel. The meaning is the logy study of larynx. Oto means ear. Rhino means nose. Larynx means throat. So study of ear, nose and throat. That means ENT. If you know this rule, then it will be easier for you to break any term. Here I am giving some examples for you. These are the word roots. I will say meaning and examples. Histo. This is the combining form. Whenever slash o is given, it is combining form. Histo means tissue. And the examples is histology. That means study of tissue. Cyto means cell. This cytology that means study of cell. Cephalo means head. Cephalalgia that means pain in the head. Algia means pain. It is a suffix. It means pain. Ophthalmo means eye. Ophthalmoscope. Ophthalmoscope is the instrument to view or examine. So the instrument to view or examine eye. Osteo, bone. Osteoporosis. Poro means the softening or making pores in the bone. Osteoporosis. It's an old age syndrome. Jaundice. Jondo means yellow. It is jaundice. Polio. It is a disease name, but the meaning is the gray. It is poliomyelitis. Artis means inflammation. Malo means nerve cell. Polio is gray. That means it affects the gray matter of brain. Ventro. It is belly side. That means this side. It is called the ventral. Al is the adjective suffix. Latero. That means side. It is bilateral. It is bi is the prefix. L is the adjective suffix. Melanoma. It is melano black. Melanoma is the example. Melano means black. Oma means tumor. So it is a black tumor. And the next I will give you some examples of uh, prefix also. Here are some example of prefix. Sin means together. Sin artho cis. Artho means joint. This is cis means condition, the condition of joints together. Ecto means outside. It is ectoderm. Derm means skin. So it is the outer skin. Post means after. Post natal nata means birth it is adjective suffix natal pertaining to birth so after birth hemi means half hemiplasia hemi means half plasia means paralysis paralysis half of the body micro means small microscope instrument to view small things primi primi means first Primi gravida. Gravid means pregnant. So first time pregnancy is called the primi gravida. Quadri. It is four. Quadricep. It is a muscle name. Quadriceps means uh, head. Quadri means four. The muscle has four head. Supra. Means above. It is supra renal. Reno means kidney. Suprarenal, that means adrenal gland. Suprarenal gland. Brady, Brady is slow. 
so bradycardia slow heart beat cardia is heart tachy is just opposite it fast it is tachypnea it is a breathing it may be tachycardia also now i am giving a tachypnea it is a breathing so it is a fast breathing well now i am giving some examples of the suffix so it is tommy look whenever you writing suffix you should give a dash because this is the last part tommy means incision that means cut into flebo tommy flebo means when so uh, incision to cut into the when synthesis puncture amniocentesis plasty it's a surgical repair rhinoplasty that means surgical repair of nose rhea that means discharge it is diarrhea dia means through emesis that means vomiting hemat emesis hemat means blood hemato is blood emesis vomiting so it is blood vomiting tripsy is crushing it is lithotripsy litho means stone the crushing of stone oid oid means resembling it is thyroid thyro means shield it is shield like appearance in this place so it is thyroid phagia means eating it is dis phagia this means dys this means painful this is painful eating or swallowing phobia phobia means fear better to say irrational fear it is pan phobia pan means all all fear to all of the things from all rage it is bursting forth hemorrhage hemo i mentioned it earlier it is blood that means hemorrhage is the bursting forth of blood Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.